broadcasting live from the Jersey Shore, it's Coach Kev on the Damage 365 Radio Network. And welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Indie Super Show here on the Damage 365 Radio Network, also being broadcasted on YouTube, Spreaker Radio, and iHeartRadio. I'm Coach Kev, leading your way today. Uh, we might or might not be joined by some guests later on, chiming in about some topics that have been going on uh, the entire week leading and post-WrestleMania. So... I hope everybody enjoyed their WrestleMania festivities as Damage 365 Promotions has just returned home a couple days ago from New Orleans, Louisiana, uh, where we spent a couple days at WrestleCon and a couple days in the city, and uh, we like to recap all that information as well as talk about some things that have been going on. Uh, of course, you know it couldn't be independent wrestling without some drama going on with some promoter or some company or a bunch of wrestlers. I mean, it can't be indie without drama. I mean, literally, it should just be called drama wrestling. Just kick the indie word out. We have more shady promoters that were, uh, again, up to their no good during WrestleMania weekend. And, uh, of course, just recently as well, we had a, a little encounter between uh, RF Video's Rob Feinstein and Christopher Ott, uh, who uh, many people know Chris is the one who did the rowdy Roddy Piper prints that sold them to uh, Rob Feinstein after Roddy passed away, and then they miraculously became autographed and sold on Facebook. So uh, they, those two had a encounter for the first time since that incident in person, and uh, you know... Uh, like one of the posts I, I put on Facebook is, uh, you know, how many times can you, uh, you know, burn a bridge uh, before you finally fall on your lit match? Because, uh, I mean, it's just getting ridiculous uh, with people just burning bridges all over the damn place and uh, just feel like there's absolutely uh, no consequences for their actions. But, uh, you know, we'll uh, make sure that that's not the case. So let's take a, a quick commercial break. And uh, when we come back, we'll get right into WrestleCon and WrestleMania weekend. The following announcement has been paid for by the New World Order. Hey, it's Tony Schiavone, formerly of WCW, and I'm almost desperately out of time. But I want to remind you, you're listening to the Indie Super Show on the Damage 365 Radio Network. It's a- Wrestling Superstore, selling wrestling memorabilia from all around the world, including WWE, Impact Wrestling, Japan, Mexico, and the very best of the independents. They've got action figures, DVDs, autographed memorabilia, t-shirts, magazines, trading cards, stickers, vintage video games, and more. Plus, stop in and get tickets for great promotions such as UWA Elite, CZW, and many others. Located indoors at the world-famous English Town Flea Market, Blue Building Booths, 46-48, on 90 Wilson Avenue in Manalapan Township, New Jersey. Open every Saturday and Sunday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Log on to Facebook.com backslash Funkenstein INC for more information. What it do, baby boo? This is Casey Two Scoops Spinelli, and you're listening to the Indie Super Show on the Damage 365 Radio Network. Ba bam! Look at this photograph. Every 
somebody who makes me laugh How oh, did our eyes get so red And what the hell is on Joey's head Hey wrestling promoters and booking agents You know where you can get inexpensive prints of your higher talent? Right here at Fast Copy Printing Center located in the Pearl of the Bay Shore. That's right. Whether you need 8x10s, 11x17s, posters, long format, or even weatherproof signs, we can do it all. We also can create promotional items for your business, such as pens, business cards, drink koozies, banners, or just a coffee mug. Stop on down to Fast Copy Print Center, 81 Broad Street in Keyport, New Jersey, or just call at 732-739-4646. No job is too big and satisfaction is guaranteed. Tell them, Damage 365 sent you. This is Saraya Knight, and you are listening to Damage 365 Radio. You want to play with me, boy? This is the King of Chaos, Logan Black, and you can catch me every Thursday night along with the boss man, Warriors of Wrestling Zone, Joey B, as we do our live Facebook Q&As on Facebook Live. Feel free to hop on in with any questions, comments, just about anything that pops into your head, and we're going to talk about it. We've got our own segments, we've got our own things to talk about every week, including what's pissing Joey off today. That's right, check us out on Facebook Live or right after the show. Damage 365 Radio Network. Check us out on there. It's posted. You can listen to it at any point that you want. I suggest listening to it sooner than later. Trust me, you've got nothing better to do. That's Thursday nights, 10 o'clock, Facebook Live, or right afterwards on the Damage 365 Radio Network. Come out and play. This is Nyla Rose and Native Beast, and you're listening to Damage 365 Radio. The following announcement has been paid for by the New World Order. WarriorsOfWrestling.com. See roster profiles of past and present Warriors of Wrestling stars. Over 50 highlight videos of Warriors of Wrestling events, full-length matches, order tickets to future Warriors of Wrestling events, and an extensive DVD collection featuring past events, compilations, documentaries, and much, much more only at WarriorsOfWrestling.com. Hey guys, it's Tennille Dashwood, and you're listening to the Indie Super Show on the Damaged 365 Radio Network. The following announcement has been paid for by the New World Order. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. At this time, we are joined by MZ Promotions head man, Dave Mooch. Dave, welcome back to the show. What's up, buddies? Um, So, yeah, man, WrestleCon weekend has come. Uh, It is gone. We spent a a week plus in New Orleans, and uh, I'm sure we have a lot of things we'd like to tell the fans uh, over in the... on this neck of the woods, exactly how uh, New Orleans was and our experience and uh, the fan reaction and all that fun stuff, Bourbon Street and all that cool stuff, because uh, I, I, I know that you personally loved New Orleans. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I hear yo, I hear an echo first. That's all right. Don't worry. You're not, you're not echoing, so that's all that matters. Okay. No, so... Uh... WrestleCon was good, but everything else sucked. <laughs> so, what what was your take on on the Bourbon Street and the French Quarter and the, the culture of uh, New Orleans, Louisiana? Glorified Jersey Shore. Oh, <laughs> that's mine, all it is. Mine is the beach. <laughs> trash, 
trash, trash. Oh man, uh, I was I was trying to explain to somebody today that getting off uh, inter, uh, Interstate 10 at the Superdome exit and you kind of loop around and you drive along the uh, the bottom of that highway. And oh, the tents. Oh my God! Just a community of tents of homeless people. <clears throat> yeah, that's all it was. Just all tents, homeless, homeless, homeless people. And the funny part is that those weren't like man-made tents. Those were like went to Walmart, spent eighty dollars to a hundred dollars on a tent. Yeah. So what I heard it was Dick's had a sale. Oh, was it? No, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I, I mean, I can see some companies doing that, you know, uh, donating uh, outdated and uh, old style uh, camping equipment to the homeless. You know, it's a tax write-off. They don't give a shit. So uh, well, makes them look golden. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, was, uh, it, it was just trash. And then finally you get up to about Canal Street, and it kind of feels it has that feel that you're driving up Broadway in Manhattan. Yeah, it did. It did, but it's still just that whole bourbon street. It was uh, really disgusting. So, I, I mean, one thing I will say, though, you know, we, we were there during not only WrestleMania weekend, we were there uh, for spring break. So there was a lot of people everywhere. And I will have to say, you know, with all the... The partying and the drinking and the smoking and all that stuff that went on in the streets. There was no fights. And there was just, honest to God, innocent partying going on. I mean, there was there was just, it wasn't like something you'd see like dead down the Jersey Shore where, you know, a brawl breaks out or people were fighting in the parking lot or, you know, the cops are beating the hell out of somebody. It, it was... It was a well-behaved party atmosphere in the streets. Yeah, that's probably the only thing. I mean, like you said, it was everybody was drinking in the middle of the street, but if that happened here, forget it, it would have been 10 brawls. Oh, yeah. I mean, it, people would be brawling. Uh, the cops would be beating people down. Uh, tickets would be written out. People's cards would be towed. I mean, it, I mean, it's a different, it's a different lifestyle there um, where people like to say it, it, it's you know a culture there. Uh, more mm-hmm. pe- other people would say that's just you know code for trash. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you have to you have to admit there was a ton of bums. Oh yeah, begging for money. Oh, absolutely, and, and do anything for money. Like like legitimately, mm-hmm. uh, if you told the guy to hop on one leg and and spin around in a circle, he'd do it for a dollar. Yeah. I mean, it was it was legitimately bad. I mean, they were they were walking around picking up beads off the floor and then trying to sell them for a dollar to people that were you know just standing it standing around having a good time. Um, so was Jonathan. Jo- <laughs> 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 yeah. So uh, we'll, we'll get into that. You know, one of my partners, the uh, JT, um, with somebody paid uh, this girl that came up who was wearing. Uh, pretty much nothing <laughs> and she was carrying a paddle that said pay me to beat somebody and uh-huh. she, so somebody decided alright here, here's a dollar and she whipped out cattails and started whipping the hell out of JT <laughs> yeah I heard about that so it, that was pretty hilarious And but of course you know him being at that time pretty intoxicated and, and being a smart ass he was, uh, you know, oh, that's all you got, that's all you got. So another dollar came out, and then she was whipping the shit out of him. <laughs> that must have been great. Uh, it, it was. It was definitely was pretty funny. Um, didn't he dance with a homeless girl too? He, he did. We uh, Joe Bellini got that on Facebook Live. He uh, dancing with some. 